Good morning, everybody. It's another week of lockdown here in London, but we have this incredible weather. I hope it's the same for all of you, wherever you are. And today I want to share with you the amazing world of glyptic art and my glyptic rings in the secret place in northern Germany called Ida Oberstein, where they're carved. I love color. I try to integrate it in every aspect of my life. So I have created a series of sculptural rings all carved in amazing stones as part of my new Fera collection. The art of glyptic is the art of carving stones and it's something that has always fascinated me. Sourcing materials to carve is intriguing. It, you feel like an explorer, always learning and trying to balance beauty with practicality. The material has to look silky and elegant once the piece is finished, but at the same time, it has to be hard enough to wear well over time. And one of my favorite materials is chalcedony for exactly this reason. It is very hard and looks beautifully silky and refined. Glyptic art was a skill already cultivated in ancient China, ancient Greece and Rome, India, and it became hugely popular during the Renaissance and the 18th and 19th centuries. Here I share a few clips I managed to take escaping the guards in this incredible room at the Prado Museum in Madrid. The room hosts the Dauphin's treasure. It is an incredible collection started by Louis XIV and inherited by his grandson Philippe, who became the first Bourbon King of Spain. In Madrid, my home is opposite the Archaeological Museum and walking distance from the Prado Museum. I spent a lot of time in both while I was growing up and I have always had this sort of romantic relationship with ancient objects and their materials. I guess that's why I am so attracted to gemstones. Back to my glyptic rings. They are carved in this mysterious place in Germany called Ida Oberstein. It is the secret home of gem virtuosos. The history of gem cutting in Ida goes as far back as 1400s when they realized the area was rich in agate and so they started mining and cutting operations. The river next to the town was the main source of power for their cutting machines which were directly connected to a huge water wheel. Gemstone cutters are called lapidaries and as incredible as it sounds, in order to be able to use these machines, lapidaries for centuries had to lie on their stomach. The tools today allow them to be sitting down, but it is still an impossibly difficult task. This is one of my first glyptic rings, which I created for a special client last year. One of my favorite features about it is how we managed to recreate the cushion shape of the center pink sapphire in the white jade. The first step, once I have finished the design, is to digitally gather all my info and print a wax. This wax will be used by the lapidary together with the mount in gold to carve the shape in stone. On the wax, we also evaluate things such as how angled do we want the steps to be, how sharp can the corners be, they have to work with the overall curves of the ring. We also decide on the size and layout of the stones. The bottom part of a stone is called the culet, and we had to make sure that the culet of the stones in the lower steps didn't touch the culet of the stones in the top steps. I chose this piece of white jade because I like these small hints of green that go beautifully with the bright green dementoids in the pave. Jade is such an amazing material. It's super hard and it looks fresh and low key. Here you see how the lapidary creates a map following all the instructions so that the final shape will fit perfectly onto the metal mount. See how beautifully carved and bright and soft the cushion shape came out. I show you the finished ring next to another ring from last year in the same mood. This one is cutting frosted rock crystal and the white metal underneath makes it look uh, smoky. I love them both, the contrast, the sculptural shapes. I just love staring at all the little details. On my next clip, I'll tell you more about how we created the glyptic rings in my Feria collection. We'll have some fun anecdotes. Hope you like it. Have a nice weekend. Bye for now.